theatricality and deception. Powerful agents to the uninitiated, but we are initiated. I'm super excited! What's up, you guys? It's your late night into the AM conspiracy theorist with the best conspiracy theories on any social media platform. That's right, Conspired Deception. Oh yeah, back at it again with the tinfoil hats. You've stumbled upon the only channel that climbs to the highest parts of the untraveled earth, swim through the deepest depths of the ocean, and discover uncharted territories as we travel through space, space and, and time, time just to bring you this brand new special event. To Jurassic Park. Wait a minute, that's not right. Welcome to Conspired Deception. So I had a friend tell me today that anytime he says something, I go straight to a conspiracy theory. He said he's tired of hearing about it. Tired of hearing about all these theories. Um, no. The real conspiracy theory is the people watching the news and spreading that nonsense around. What people refer to as a conspiracy theorist they don't know what's going on, or else they would refer to us as critical thinkers, truth tellers. They have censored me for the past two years on talking about certain subjects. Well, now the truth about those certain subjects are getting out there. Of course, you still have your idiots who watch the news and says, no, it's not true because it's not in the news. Are you people researching? Are you digging deep? Or are you just listening to somebody standing on the screen? I will not stop talking about theories because I have been 100% correct on every single one of them. It's time to stop picking on us. It's time to wake up. The real conspiracy theorists are the people that live their life day to day without questioning a thing. Wake up. Yeah. Report found more than 900 foster kids disappeared in Missouri in 2019. Marina Silva spent the day looking through that report and getting the state's response to the harsh findings. This case study put out by the U.S. Inspector General's office shows nearly a thousand Missouri foster kids went missing from the system in 2019. The inspectors say some foster kids are at a much higher risk of going missing than others, and they say the state rarely made an attempt to reduce the risk of kids going missing. The Missouri House of Representatives Children and Family Committee held a hearing on Tuesday. Among those who testified, the director of the Office of Child Advocate. She says the report did not shock her. So the report that came out in 2019, well, the report that just came out about the 2019 study um, doesn't have anything I think that surprises most of us other than maybe the scope, the volume, right? The stories that I'm telling you that are 15 years old are very much reflected in this report that just came out. Kelly Schultz says the department has already started working on it. The wheels. The wheels. The wheels. The wheels. Well, the wheels are coming off. The wheels off. The wheels are coming off. Coming off. The wheels are coming off. The wheels may be coming off. The wheels are coming off. The wheels are coming off. The wheels are falling off. The wheels are coming off. The wheels are off. The wheels are coming off. The wheels are coming off. I know some of y'all are just going to hate me after this one, but just like the WWE, the NBA, and the NFL are both 100% what? Scripted. You see my face, you just gotta know. I'm speaking facts, bro. Let's get into it. So we all know that the WWE is obviously fake and rigged and, you know what I'm saying, staged. WWE brands itself as sports entertainment, not pro wrestling, okay? So naturally, I'm trying to see if the NFL is sports or entertainment. I look it up on Google, first thing I notice is that nothing pops up. Every source I found, though, says that the NFL is an entertainment business rather than a sport. NFL has defined itself in court as a sports entertainment business. And when I say fake, I don't mean the players. These are obviously still the best players in the world. It's just that they now have to follow a script. It's serious money and power behind these teams, y'all. Look at how much money they're making a year. These are billions. There's a lot of similarities between ancient Rome and now, y'all. They doing the same thing. 1993, the FAA started warning pilots to stay away from a certain section of airspace over Alaska. The U.S. government was experimenting with a new breed of high-altitude electronic technology that was significantly altering the Alaskan airspace. The experiments continue to this day, and critics are warning that this project could have global effects that will destroy our planet. In Alaska, the rugged, pristine wilderness is timeless, most of it remaining just as it has for thousands of years. In the midst of all this natural beauty, 
Just outside the small town of Gakona stands an enormous and seemingly harmless antenna farm. It is a $100 million Air Force project known as HARP, and critics of the soon-to-be-completed facility charge it just may turn out to be the ultimate doomsday machine. It's got all the marks of Dr. Strangelove on it. HARP is an acronym for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. According to program manager John Hesher, HARP is a research facility designed to study the ionosphere. All the military have communications, surveillance, navigation systems uh, whose paths either traverse the ionosphere or reflect from it. And so we need to be very careful about what we know about it and how we study it. What we're interested in is, is what is the effect of a large input of energy on the ionosphere. The ionosphere is the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere. It is part of an electromagnetic field that keeps out harmful solar and cosmic radiation. One visible effect of the sun's rays hitting the ionosphere is the aurora borealis, known as the northern lights. The ionosphere also plays a vital role in worldwide radio communication. The first transmission of radio waves across the ocean were quite a surprise when it was first done. People thought there'd be no chance to transmit the signals across the ocean by wireless. And uh, in fact, what the ionosphere does is act like a mirror. And so you transmit a signal and it bounces off the ionosphere and then it bounces off the Earth. When HARP is fully operational, it will transmit extremely powerful blasts of high-frequency radio waves directly up into the atmosphere, superheating the electrons that make up the ionosphere. This will cause them to disperse, effectively punching a hole. I worked for Facebook as a content moderator, so I was a content censor, basically taking down your comments, posts, videos. Um, so that's what I did for, for two years. But after I'd been there about a year, I, I noticed a lot of irregularities with their, you know, how they enforced their policy and the policy itself. It was biased against conservatives, they were favoring leftist viewpoints. So I'm sitting there and I get you know, maybe an, an off-color meme, or I get a video, maybe a conservative video. So I, I, I look through the policy, which is very nuanced, and I try to determine if there's a violation. So you know, pe people get de-boosted in Shadowman. I wouldn't be able to see that directly, but I would get a job one at a time and say, I choose, do I allow this or do I delete it? So I, I had you know, the ability to delete posts and comments, and that could result in you know, someone getting banned for a week or a month. The murder trial and the death of local rapper XXX Tentacion might begin this month. Attorneys are attending hearings today. One just wrapped up where the judge found one of the defendants is competent to stand trial. XXX Tentacion, whose real name is Jose Swain Onfroy, was leaving a business in Deerfield Beach when he was ambushed and shot to death by two accused robbers. Lawyers for one of the murder suspects, Diedrich Williams, filed a motion for rapper Drake to testify at the trial, believing that previous tension between Drake and XXX Tentacion could be linked to the murder. There has not been any evidence. No, this is not Shia LaBeouf. This is Susan Rosenberg. Who? Susan Rosenberg! Susan Rosenberg is a far-left domestic terrorist with M19 Co, which stands for May 19th Communist Organization. Rosenberg was wanted by the FBI for her role in the Black Liberation Army, which participated in armored truck robberies, murders, and bombings of government buildings, with 2,044 bombings in 1974 alone carried out predominantly by far-left extremists People like Rosenberg were at the top of the FBI's most wanted list. After living as a fugitive for two years, the FBI finally caught up with Rosenberg and found a stockpile of automatic weapons and over 750 pounds of high explosives in her possession. Susan Rosenberg actively participated in several U.S. bombings, including at the Capitol. Democratic President Bill Clinton commuted her sentence, pardoning her on his last day in office. Okay, okay, so she's a far-left, radical, domestic terrorist from yesteryear, right? Why does it matter? Where is she at now? I'm glad you asked. I sh** you not. Vice Chair, Board of Directors. 